Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. After yesterday's clip of uh, kind of showing that the Tetrad is just not what you've been told it is, that we did not have the full lunar eclipse, uh, I was reviewing the interview I did with Randy and looking at that weird pulsating effect that's all over the face of the moon right before the wave happens in Randy's footage. So what I did is I actually went back and looked at the wave that I found right before I went on the road trip. I haven't had really time to go over that clip very well. And I found some very interesting things. And when I began to run filters uh, in the typical way that I do, uh, like when I showed the energy pulse on the 2012 footage, I found some very interesting things. So what I'm going to do here is show that I think what Randy was saying, how this kind of pulsating effect that he said he could see optically may in fact be some kind of a fingerprint that the lunar wave is about to occur. Now for anyone who follows the channel, they know that we have been having a hell of a time with chemtrails and now, believe it or not, in Southern California, it's raining. So as we come up to the prediction here for filming the 20th through the 30th, trying to catch the lunar wave, um, it makes me a little nervous that we may not have the greatest view. But here is Randy, the footage that I took with Randy in the interview. And here's the telescope that he's using and a rough version of the Sony Handycam. Now what I'm going to do is run the lunar wave that he captured with this equipment to show the kind of pulsating, then show the last clip that I did. And I'll cue you. It's going to come from the bottom right about now. Here it comes. Now there's 40 seconds in between these two lunar waves, so I've cut it. You'll see the cut, and then I'll tell you when the second one's coming. That was the cut, and here comes the second one. Now you can kind of detect the pulsating effect um, in the raw footage, or the really unmanipulated footage right there, but what we're going to do now is manipulate it to try to demonstrate it, and it'll get better as we go in. And I'll cue you, and here comes the wave now. And you'll see a cut where I shorten the interval so we don't have to wait 40 seconds. That was the cut. And here comes the second wave from the bottom. And I'm going to kind of ratchet up the, uh, the filters that I'm running because the find edge filter really does it. And here we are with the find edge filter. And you can really see the pulsating that's going on. Here comes the wave now from the bottom. There it is. And just look at that pulsating. There's the cut. And here comes the second wave from the bottom now. And I wanted to reiterate through this footage so that I can show you what I found in the kind of uh, wave footage the night that it was so heavily chemtrailed. This is with the same filter but blended through a little bit to the original clip. Here comes the wave now. And you can still see that pulsating going on all over the moon. Here comes the cut to shorten the interval. There's the cut. And here comes the second wave from the bottom. And there it is. We're going to look at this one more time with one more set of filter adjustments to look at the pulsation that's going on. Now this is really a great view. Look at that pulsating. And here comes the wave now from the bottom. And here will come the cut and the clip to shorten down the interval. <laughs> and here is the second wave coming from the bottom. Now we're going to switch over and look at the last wave that I caught the night that it was chemtrailing so heavily. <clears throat> So this is just the raw footage, and this is why I didn't find it so long, the, the wave and the footage, because I thought I just had a bunch of chem debris. But here comes the, from the top, right now, here comes the wave. It's a little difficult to see, so look at the limbs of the moon. But what always struck me about this footage, and here will come the second wave, is that it cleared up right at the time the wave happened, and I thought that was really strange. I thought it was just chance, but watch as I run filters what goes on. So I'll cue you. Here comes the wave now from the top. Look at the limb of the moon and you'll see the ripple so that you can pick it up. And then you'll see the second one which is coming now. Now what I'm going to do is begin to run the filters so that you can see what I was not aware was in this clip before. 
notice right out of the gate now look at all that noise and kind of pulsation now when the the wave just started watch how it clears up so here comes the the wave down through the equator and look how that pulsating cleared up as the wave came across and notice the big crater down near the bottom right that's going to come into play here in a second so i'm going to load the clip up again and look just all that kind of pulsating noise and i'll cue you when the wave's going to start and that pulsating clears up as the wave starts it's getting ready to come from the top and here it comes there's the first wave and it clears up here comes the second one the second wave is at the crater watch that kind of purplish looking crater at the bottom i'm going to zoom in on it and watch what happens as the first wave passes it now i'm running the find edge filter here now there's all the kind of static pulsating noise again get ready the wave starts now and look how quickly that clears up now watch the crater at the bottom there watch what happens it kind of lights up as the wave goes over it it's very strange and and even if you go back and view this a couple times you'll notice that there's a couple other small parts of the moon that do this as the wave is passing here it comes again and I'll cue you when the waves gonna start at the top here it comes at the top look at the limb you can see it's starting and I'm gonna zoom now watch as the wave comes across and how that crater just kind of flares up it's so strange that the kind of pulsating clears up right as the wave begins and that these craters kind of light up in a weird way so what I did is I went back and grabbed the 2012 footage which is the best we have and I ran similar find edge filters and look it even looks a bit pulsating you can see it all over the whole face of the moon, that kind of frequency look, or I'm not sure how to describe it. So I think Randy might be right that this is some sort of a signature. So I'm just going to demonstrate here that the lunar wave in the 2012 footage uh, does not cross the video frame. It was shot in 8.30 in the evening. This is speeded up just so you can see it. The problem is, is that your eye tries to drag it out to the edge of the frame. So what I'm going to do is mask the moon out with a black box. Now look outside the black box and no lunar wave will go through that area. There is enough ambient light. A video engineer showed me how to add noise and kind of manipulate things to do this. He's the first one that demonstrated that it does not cross the frame. <clears throat> look in the lower left and you'll see like this kind of pulse go through this is with no filters run now when i begin to run the filters you'll see that there's like an energy pulse in the 2012 footage and here it comes with filters run and just you can kind of see these arcing curving lines i'm going forwards and backwards here to demonstrate it and this is going on right as the wave starts at the bottom but even in this footage you can detect the kind of pulsating that's going on all over the face of the moon here it comes again there's the pulsating and right after that happens as I begin to go up you'll notice there's a sweep and there you can see the pulsating really well with the find edge filter jacked up a bit so there's absolutely something to the pulsating effect we're seeing um, I'll have to kind of take more time to look at it but here's the, the clip in its entirety from 2012 with a little bit of contrast added to darken it down. So I just thought it was a very strange thing when I went back and finally took the time to look at the last wave capture I had and found in fact that it is the pulsating is going on. But what was weird is it was such a coincidence that at the exact few seconds I needed the chem trailing to kind of clear up so I could see the wave. Um, when you run the find edge filter, you can see the chemtrail debris looks like almost pulsating or like it's shading over pulsating. Then as the wave starts, it clears up immediately and you can see the whole wave through. And as it goes down, it kind of has a weird effect on that bottom. I think it's Kepler or I don't even know which one it is. I didn't look it up and I've forgotten, but I just thought it was interesting. So there it is. Cheers.